Hi, this is Mr. Cordes. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start doing our writing for the author study unit. You have done a lot of activities for your author. You've looked at who they are as a person. You've looked at their background. You looked at their life. We've done a lot of research questions. Um, you have even mimicked their writing style. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take all of those components and begin to really analyze what's going on. So you only have one body paragraph in front of you because I want us to concentrate and have the best analytical writing we possibly can. I don't want to tell you, hey, we're going to write, you know, three paragraphs and then have it all just be junk paragraphs because we're trying to just type and get words out. I would rather have quality over quantity. So this is where we sit. Okay. We will have an introduction paragraph that accompanies this. Um, however, this is our starting point. And we're actually today only going to work on two sentences. We're going to look at the author's style, and then we're going to look at analysis. And you will need to determine what goes on for your writing based upon the responses that you've done before. There was a question that was asked prior about like writing style and writing techniques and um, how that contributes to the message of the story. You're going to need to think back and we need to articulate. Articulate simply just means to explain ourselves well. Okay. If a, a toddler or a small child came up to you and asked you a question, you need to articulate it well so that they understand. And that's our goal here with our two sentences. I know it seems like a lot, two sentences, but we've got to get through those two sentences and then we're going to build together. So here's the deal. If you turn this in and you've got more than two sentences, I know that you did not watch this video. So we're writing two sentences. And we will piece all of these together as we go. So the very first thing that I want us to look at is the writing style. Okay. This box right up here is where you're going to explain the author's unique style of writing. Now, that does not mean we are just going to bullet point, you know, long sentences, sophisticated word, casual conversation, uses metaphors. No, we need to have two to three sentences in this spot that really articulate what's going on. So if I was, let's say, I'm gonna use Shakespeare as an example, explain the author's unique style of writing. I would say Shakespeare uses iambic pentameter to create um, scenes in his stories. He also, comma, you know, and he also uses very descriptive words uh, for his characters, right? I'm going to craft a sentence, a strong sentence that explains the writing style. So let's say that you're working with um, Maya Angelou. You want to say Maya Angelou's writing style embodies, takes on, discusses, conveys whatever verb you want to use, and then identify those different components. So for some of you, you may need to go back to the previous assignment where we listed those characteristics and you want to formulate a sentence. So what is the unique writing style of your author? What is unique about Edgar Allan Poe's writing? What is unique about Maya Angelou's writing? What is unique about Sandra Cisneros? Unique simply means what is, what is purposeful? What is distinct? What is, what is, what is that author doing in his or her writing? Okay, so that's the first sentence that you'll need to craft. If you want to pause here and begin to write that sentence, please do so. But this one right here is where you give a quality sentence. It, if it needs to be two or three sentences, that's perfectly fine. You do not want a long run on sentence. You want one sentence um, that conveys what you need to. And if it needs to be multiple, then do that. Okay, no harm in identifying, you know, Edgar Allan Poe uses long sentences. To, and then explain what it does. Okay. Um, Maya Angelou uses description to what? Okay. Uh, Sandra Cisneros adds in English and Spanish words to convey what? Um, kind of, kind of elaborate. So don't just simply tell me that um, uh, Edgar Allan Poe is a Gothic writer. That doesn't tell me much, right? Um, tell me that he's a Gothic writer who uses a lot of details. And then you go on from there. Okay, so that's your first sentence. Take a moment. I would you need to have this sentence down first before you can get to your analysis sentence. Okay, 
Analysis is in the same family as commentary, where commentary is like your thoughts and ideas. Um, you know, we've used the sentence starter. This shows that a lot. We're going to do the commentary later. Right now is analysis. So the analysis is understanding how that key component of writing style affects the bigger message or theme of the story. Okay. So how does a smaller component add to the bigger, bigger items? So when we were doing commentary, let's go back to like the most dangerous game way back when we would say that General Zaroff is savage because, and then explain why. Analysis means why is he savage and what does that tell us about the theme of our story? What does that tell us about who he is as a person and as a character? So when you have analysis, you're getting a little bit deeper to understand how that component works overall. So your little guide here says, explain how the author's style, the author's writing style, contributes to the story's message or theme. So now that's why this sentence needed to come first. So whatever you put here, let's say you put long descriptive sentences, okay? Or short sentences with casual tone, okay? or metaphors, whatever you pick, how does that element contribute? Contribute could mean add to, help develop, um, enhance. Um, how does that piece of writing style, the metaphors, long sentences, casual tone and conversation, contribute, add to, and help the message or theme of your story? Okay, how does Edgar Allan Poe's long sentences add to the dark, mysterious, horrific tone of the cast of Amontillado, right? How does metaphors add to Maya Angelou's description of her pain and suffering as a child? How does the incorporation of Spanish and English add to Sandra Cisneros' desire to hear her own voice in literature? Okay, so for this one, again, you may need two or three sentences to develop this answer. Um, you are looking to piece together what does it mean and how does it work for the bigger picture? Okay, um, using that, let's use another example. If I went into my garage and I opened up the hood of my car and I started pulling apart, uh, you know, the uh, uh, a wire. I start pulling apart like the battery. I pull apart some cog. Like I just start pulling things apart, right? And I see, oh, look at all these little tiny pieces. They make an engine. Well, great. How do these little tiny pieces contribute to the engine? So let's say I pulled out the fan belt, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but I pull out the fan belt and I say, this is a fan belt. This is what I got. It helps rotate the fan to keep my engine cool. That right there is how does that... Um, belt that engine or fan belt contribute to the engine how does metaphors contribute to the bigger uh, story that's being told how does the casual conversation of english and spanish contribute to the story that's being told how does long descriptive detailed sentences contribute to the tone and the feeling and the theme of our story okay so take a moment you need to write out the author style first and then in the second part, you need to go for the analysis. What is actually happening? How does it contribute to the overall part of the story? Okay, that's the bigger theme. So if you don't understand the theme of your story or the bigger message, take a moment and go back to some of those preliminary questions that we um, have done before. Okay, message me if you have any questions or concerns. We're only doing these two, these two boxes. Again, you should um, have at least two sentences, but I would strongly suggest in order to make your writing strong to have maybe three because you do want to articulate yourself well, okay? Message me if you guys have questions or concerns. I'll talk to you guys soon.